Why am I pulling them in? Because it's a reach workout day, baby. Woo! Get ready to pump those guns and pump those buns. Cause we're doing a little combo reach. That's our upper body pulling day here at work and lift where we're doing a little bit lower body thrust pump gains action. All right, so we've got some dumbbells, some mini bands over here. We've got some floor bands, some mini bands over here. We're also gonna give you different options in case you don't have the mini band or some that kind of modification here and there if you need, all right? Now to warm up today, we're gonna get started with a little EMOM. EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. So I'm gonna give you a challenge and a rep scheme to complete within that minute. And the remainder of your time, we're gonna add on a little active rest, all right? So the first one, my friends, is going to be a bicep curl. We're gonna bilateral curl, that means both arms at the same time. We're gonna hit 15 reps in three, in two, in one, and let's rock and roll. Very nice. So the reason we're starting with a bilateral curl is it's going to make us work a little bit harder by stimulating, ooh, that forward backward action, right? The dumbbell out in front of me wants to pull me forward. I've got to use my lower back actually to keep me upright. And then as it gets nice and tall, I've also got to use my abdominals to help keep my spine and pelvis nice and neutral. When you're done with your 15, we're gonna finish it that finish out that minute with bodyweight squats. Now I only took these guys 25 seconds, so we're gonna 35 seconds of squats so to do. If you're faster or slower, you do it on you, all right? We're gonna hit this sequence three times. So three times those 15 reps on the curls, and then finishing out with the squats for each minute. Nice game. So again, upper body pulling muscles, lower body pushing muscles. We're talking hamstrings, we're talking glutes, we're talking the whole thing. Looking good, team. We got eight seconds, you're right back in at the top of the minute, that's the EMOM. In three, in two, in one, let's go. Second minute, second set of curls. Start pumping those guns, baby. Putting the bullets in the chamber. Oh yeah, load the ammo. Get ready to Got those pistols. Woo! Load the machine guns. I don't know any, that many gun analogies, so I'm just gonna use pistol a lot. Maybe shotgun, I don't know, it doesn't seem apropos. All right, so when you're working on that bicep curl, remember to keep your elbows totally tight and think about your spine staying nice and long as well. Mentioned a moment ago with the core, and what I mean by that is your body naturally, if we're just talking about the most efficient way to get this done, would be shaking. You would lean forward, you would lean back, you would use momentum and inertia. But we're trying to tell your body, no, 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 I actually want you to work harder, so I'm gonna make you stay totally still as I curl up and down. With the squat, making sure we got the feet nice shoulder width apart and suiting our booty back down behind us. We got the hands out front for a counterbalance. Third round coming, gang, in three, in two, in one, and let's go. So directly back into that curl. Ooh, tank top Tony already looking good. Mama, comma, I don't know, <laughs> Cara Vivera. Oh yeah, looking so, so nice over here. In the back one's that's it, that's back one's that. Where you have a scissor? For what? Cut my sleeves off. Oh yeah! Open up the snake cage. Let the pythons out of the corral. <laughs> I forgot the number! You better start over. You better start over too. 30 seconds. We're gonna switch it up a little bit, all right? We got a second sequence that we're gonna roll right into. And it's gonna be a mini band sidestep. So with that band, I wanna see you guys take it. A couple different options. Higher on the shin is gonna be a little bit easier. We take it lower on the shin, it's gonna be more challenging. We actually take it around our footsies, around our toesies, it's gonna to be the hardest. We're doing 20 reps total, 10 each side, in four, in three, in two, and one, right into it, let's go. Mini band on, I ain't giving you no time, I'm taking that time away from you, baby. So you gotta work that much harder. Good, now staying nice and low. Again, one's got their hands out front, the other one hand on the hips. Either way, as long as we've got a little bit of a forward lean and our back is staying nice and flat, so it's kind of like a half squat position. Now, if you wanna squat all the way down, way low, it's gonna be that much more challenging. Again, warming up the entire lower half 17. complex. After your 20, go ahead and lay down flat. We're gonna go into a little Superman. So keeping your band on, we're gonna elevate our head, neck, chest, and shoulders and we're gonna elevate our heels and the upper part of our thigh up off the floor as well. So we're activating our lower back here, and by using the band on the feetsies, I want you to extend your legs a little bit out as well. Anthony, so push the band wide. Yeah! So every time you elevate, go ahead and take your heels out, kick into a little bit of like a letter Y in the back, 
You know why Superman looks so good in those tight pants? This is because he's doing these. Superman's squeezing his butt cheeks so hard when he's doing those Superman flights. Over here, we got the opposite version. In three, in two, in one. Right back on your side steps. Let's go. So we'll dive into Kara's modification next time a little bit. And she essentially doing a little bit of a reach and a step out. So working a little bit different aspect of the core, right? If we want to challenge ourselves, my friends, we can do it so many different ways today. Are the buns talking to you? They're talking. Oh, they're cock talking and a squawking. Ah, I'm a bun. I'm talking to you. <laughs> they're like, and... I'm gonna go watch it. I'm gonna go watch a Maddie video. <laughs> I can't even do it. Just under 20. You, you can't, can't do, it. do it. Come on. Do it. Not with that attitude. <sighs> that a boy. That a boy. <laughs> now she's alternating the hand reach and doing her best to keep her core totally stable. She spreads her feet a little bit wider. It's gonna be easier, but harder on her bum bum again because she's spreading that band out wide. In three, in two, in one. Round number three. Side steps. Let's do it, baby. Come on, Superman. Come on, Superman. Oh boy. I really should be equal. I'm sorry, super people, super person. Super person. Any gender will apply, unless you choose to be a carrot. Carrots aren't that super. What? Yeah. Weird. Anyways, after this, my friends, we got another Iman sequence. We're doing four of these total. You said three. No, three rounds, three minutes for each one. We got three different ones that we're choosing between to get ourselves nice and warm. We're going to pick up our dumbbells. We're going to pick up our band. And what we're going to dive into is a little bit of a bent over wide row. So with the dumbbells in hand, I'm going to focus on keeping my back nice and flat, separating my elbows and my shoulder blades squeezing together. If I'm using the band, I'm going to step on, I'm going to crisscross applesauce, the same exact motion, we just get into it a little differently. In four, in three, in two, in one, and bend over wide row. Let me see it, kids. So choose your dumbbell wisely. Choose your band wisely. Watch how she gets on there. She's gonna step on both feet. She crisscrosses 15. Crisscrosses. Is she gonna hold a handle or if you need a little bit more tension? Just choke up. Grab the actual band itself. Either way, another way to increase the tension is she just spread her feet, so that's what she's doing there. Back stays totally flat, and the elbows are getting way out there wide. 15 again is our rep scheme. When you're done with your 15, clear the upper body. We're gonna go lower body, hands behind your head. We call them prisoner lunges. So backwards lunge, I'm gonna do it for the rest of that minute, which right now is 15 seconds. What? Ooh, Hi. yeah, girlfriend. Well, I mean, it took, a little, took a little bit to get into the thing. Ooh, Ooh. second round. <laughs> or you can rest at the end of your sequence. In four, in three, in two, and one. Next minute, let's go. Now two. Ooh. So remember, on that row, the back piece, what's going on in your torso from your hips to your shoulder is the most important piece, making sure my torso is taken care of. The way I like to kind of get into it, just talking about the hinge itself, we're gonna take our shoulders up, okay? And then I'm gonna roll them back, and then I'm gonna drop. So this is a nice neutral position for my shoulder. My trap isn't doing a ton. From there, I bend my knees a little bit, and then I just tip forward slowly while keeping that same level of engagement. Now I've got my dumbbells, my bands, I'm ready to work from there. 35 seconds in game, you have 25 to go. Alternating lunges again. Hands here behind the head, just to create a little bit more engagement. Again, a little more activation and a little bit more intention behind what's going on with our torso. Looking great, you too. Notice the knees getting down nice and low, 90 degrees on the bend in the back foot. One more time, round three. In three, in two, in one, and let's do it again, baby. Come on. So bent over row, third round. That core is starting to be challenged. Your breathing is probably starting to be challenged, getting up a little bit. Would you say rear delts? Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Rear delts, that means the back half of our shoulder here, shoulder blades are caught, wrapped, traps and rhomboids, what number? A little tough? So five. A little tough? <laughs> five. Hey, that's the beauty of the EMOM. You get to work as hard as you can, as long as you can. And you got the whole minute. You got the whole minute. Get it, Anthony. Get it, Anthony. Add a kid. Add a kid. Love it. Working hard at home. We see you, baby. Come on. You're with us. You're with us. Back in the lunges. I love it. Get it, Care Bear. 
12 seconds, my Ooh. friends. We're gonna put that mini band on one more time. And our last little sequence, we're just gonna stay on the floor for. That band is gonna be above your knees. You're gonna take your knees and feet as wide as you can. We're going to what we call a bridge lift. So I'm lifting up my cheeks. I'm squeezing as hard as I can here, my bum bum as I elevate. And again, I've got that band on, so I'm working laterally as well. You're gonna need 15 bridge lifts. And then go ahead and bring those legs together. And we're gonna go jackknife for the remainder of that minute. In three, in two, in one, mini band is on, above the knees. Okay, I'll give you a couple seconds. I'll give you a couple seconds. Fine, fine. Three, two, one. Let's go. So on the bridge lift, a couple things to think about. Again, the width of your feet and knees, and make sure they're even. Sometimes people have this tendency, they get their ankles way outside because it's hard to squeeze that band. No, man, you gotta push out. You gotta keep your knees in line with your ankle. So think about your shin, this shin bone staying totally vertical. The next thing to think about is as you lift up, are you arching your lower back a ton? Are you creating a lot of space here? Or is your pelvis staying neutral or your hips rolled back and as you squeeze, you're getting your booty high enough while keeping that nice neutral spine? So again, use the lower half to get you there. Don't just over arch your back and lift your belly button here. When we're done with our 15 game, we're going to the jackknife. You see Anthony already there. Karen's gonna go into a leg raise modification. So just using the lower half. If that's tough as well, you could do a reverse crunch or you could just sit regular crunches at a tabletop. Either way, work in the core as well as that lower half. Now, second set of bridges coming in three, in two, in one. Let's go. There you go, team. Woo. I love to hear the breathing as well. At every rep, they're very, being very intentional about big exhales, forceful exhales. They squeeze with all those lower body muscles. Mm. And then on the way in, we call that the eccentric phase, the downward phase of the movement. They are breathing in, they're inhaling, giving their body some oxygen, giving it that much needed energy on the way down. Good, taking your time with it. Again, you choose the tempo today. You dictate how hard each of these are, and you dictate the, the speed. And the pace on some of these moves will definitely make it either more challenging or in some cases could actually decrease the challenge. You find the right resistance for you. Seven seconds. We go one more time, kids. <laughs> you got a friend. <laughs> In three, in two, in one, and one more time, baby, let's go. Woo! Working them hips, baby, working them hips. Now, if you wanna add on, you wanna progress this thing a little bit, you can at the top of each one, take your knees in and then out, and do a little, we call abduction, that's pulling your legs further apart. So you're down, you're up, you're in, you're out. Woo! Adding on that add abduction really gets those pistols popping, doesn't it, Superman? Pistols popping! Oh yeah! Throw the arm! Well, everything's a pistol now, isn't it? And then after that, get that little core piece, that jackknife. Superman definitely works on his abs in the off in the off season. When he's not flying around, he's got to work on ab strength. Everything he stays so tight in midair. Great core, great core training, great core program. I heard he trains with Steph Curry. I don't know. Nice kids, good fingertips all the way to the sky. Love the little jackknife V City Anthony. You got it, baby. Got four. Got three. Got two. Got one. Woo! And we are done. Nice little total body warm up, tune up, pop up. 12 minutes of work, my friends. You should be very proud of yourselves. If you're ready to do a little bit more work, though, we've got something special for you.